So this is Venice Modern Strings. Alright, so here we have Venice Modern Strings, the interface, and let me start by giving you my overall impression after trying this uh, library for a couple of days. So these strings have a very nice and warm sound, and the library comes with this easy-to-use interface uh, with all articulations clear clearly laid out like this, as you can see, as well as the expression controllers like dynamics, vibrato and even if you open up this advanced view here you can adjust the legato speed and a staccato overlay option here and you can map the legato type control between velocity pitch bend wheel and any cc value you want and there's three forms of uh, legato so overall that is my impression now what do you get in venice modern strings well you get the individual sections here cellos, double basses, violas, violins 1 and 2. You also get ensemble patches, as you can see in here, with different articulations, as well as individual articulations per section, as you can see here, which this is one of my favorites, by the way, for example, loading only the um, flautando on the violins to save some RAM. In fact, let's do that, as you can see. The big patches take a lot of RAM, but if I replace this with Violins 1 Flautando, that's only around 20 megabytes of uh, RAM. And you also get, let's see, a low memory version of uh, some of the legato patches here per instrument. All right, so um, the recordings were made from eight violins, six, let's see, eight first violins, six second violins, five viol violas, five cellos, and three double basses, which gives you a more kind of intimate sound, but still rich compared to a uh, full string ensemble. This is much more delicate and um, intimate, though. So what I really like is the mic options. You get four in total, spot, close, mid, and far. And this is by far my favorite, the spot mic, which is not really that common in orchestral libraries, is really close. It's not the close mic, but actually spot on, which is excellent to add a super intimate close vibe, which I tried especially on um, the staccato patches. Oh, and I almost forgot, you get extra features if you click this cog wheel up here, you can adjust engine accuracy, set if you want to use expression on CC11, and also mapping of CC, Dynamics, Vibrato, and this feature, which is actually uh, really cool. So let's load up the cellos again, because you can actually morph between two articulations. Uh, I think it only works in the sustain here, so you get, let's see, it seems to be only the sustain, so if you start there, you can automate between, let's say, a sustain and a flautando, and then you can um, uh, map this AB controller, for example. I use CC3 here, so let's play something. Let's see. And then you can morph here with CC3. Let's do that now. From As you can see, this will move from A to B, from sustain to flatando. So... Flautando is, of, of course, that super soft, flute-like character or playing style. Uh, or you might want to go to, for example, a tremolo from Sustain. So if you have it all the way down, on A, Sustain, and then... As you heard there, it moves between those. 
So that is basically it for the engine. It's super quick and easy to dive into. You have the microphone options here. But now let's start to play something so you can hear how it sounds like. So this is the sustain. Let's do the staccato and I will show you my favorite feature, which is the spot mic. <laughs> So the dynamics doesn't do anything on the short regulations, but you can if you want to use expression, which I have here, so... So you can see when I use this wheel here for the expression, I can adjust the dynamic curve if I want to. But now let me activate the spot mic and you will really hear that bite in the sound. If I, especially if I remove the far mic. And I really like this on, let's see, the ensemble staccato. So if you use that, you also get down uh, the RAM usage down. Uh, then just use spot in close and listen to... Th this is my, my favorite patch actually in this library, especially when using the spot mic. So let, let's let's do something cool. You really hear that, but if I lose that, and let's go to the mid mics and close, get that more warm, mellow sound, but I really like layering sounds, so I love using this now, uh, as I've tested this in my template for that really biting ostinato. So you can do it really low on the basses. Listen to this. Really biting. Remove the spot mic. This is basically more like most um, string library sound. <laughs> you can only use the spot mic if you want to really. Or blend some close in. I really love that. That's my favorite patch in the entire library, the Ensemble Staccato patch using the spot mic. So as you can see here, you also get, um, for example, two variations of legato, slow legato and fast legato in this um, uh, individual articulations page here. So we try the slow legato. And as you can see, it's really easy to dive in and uh, control the dynamics and vibrato. The vibrato is mm, kind of medium. It doesn't really go... You can hear it, but it's it's kind of gentle, to be honest. Uh, I would have wanted a bit more a stronger vibrato at the highest setting. I even um, It's obviously more audible in the individual sections uh, compared to ensemble, but still. Um, uh, another kind of feedback I have is, uh, what I want to have, which I lack in this library is marcato patches. Cause as you can see here, you get legato, polyphonic legato, sustained staccato. You, uh, well, you can read all this yourself, but what I don't see is marcato. So you get staccato and staccatissimo. So let's try those. <laughs> Or staccatissimo, which is so shorter, of course. And by the way, I, uh, this means you don't you don't get uh, spiccatos either. So um, that might be a drawback, depending on what libraries you already have in your arsenal. So let's see if we go into the individual articulations. No, just load up the violins here and try those. Because I want to show you how great these sound. Because, yeah, the legato sounds nice, of course. You get the portamento there on the low dynamic uh, or the low velocity. But uh, apart from the staccato ensemble, one of my favorite patches were these. The, well, the pizzicato is really good too, by the way. 
it, since they play, uh, what was it, eight first violins, you really hear that difference, the human factor in, in the sound. They don't play exactly at the right time. I love that. But I really love the flautando and sultasto articulations. Listen to this. Imagine that for an underscore horror movie, thriller, whatever. And the sultasto is equally amazing. Very similar in tone. So, uh, but when I want to use those kind of things, I often just go to the individual articulations and then violins and then load up. And this is great because they both have the full patches, but they take so much RAM. So I prefer going to individual articulations which some composers prefer, and just load up whatever you want to. So, let's say violins, flautando, or tremolo on cellos, or whatever. Um, so basically, that's it. That's my review of this library. It's warm, intimate, but you still get the super bright, sharp spot mic sound if you want to. It's easy to map however you want. Uh, Dynamics Vibrato is already set up on CC1 and 2, which I prefer, to be honest. You can add some uh, reverb here if you want to. I prefer to use my DW for that. Easy to mix the microphones. Easy to um, key switch here, or, uh, which I preferred, the individual articulations for either ensembles here or uh, these sections. All right. So go to the link in the description to learn more about this library and I will see you in the next video, my friends. Subscribe now and watch a lot more videos on composing music, producing music, sound design, Logic Pro X and much more. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.